Hey everyone, Mark the Movie Man here. Welcome to the Final Cut. And I'm catching up on some movie reviews. I had a bad cold this past week, so couldn't quite get the reviews I wanted out, but I'm getting near the tail end of it, so I wanted to get some reviews. I've just been itching to talk about them. And today, we're talking about Nerve. Came out last week, and I do believe brought to us by director Henry Joost and Ariel Schulman, which gives us the story of V, who's kind of this book girl. She's got a wild and crazy friend or whatnot, and her wild and crazy friend introduces her to this... Uh, game called Nerve, which is kind of a reality internet game where you can either be a viewer, where you pay a subscription, and you can see people doing these uh, crazy stunts, or you be a player where you're the person doing this crazy stunts for money. And it's all set up by an anonymous uh, programmer who set up this whole thing, and we get to see how V gets pulled into this world with the help of Ian, and we see how things turn deadly as the game ratchets it up in Nerve. Um, I enjoyed this film a lot more than I thought I would. It, it's a thriller for the modern audience. It did not feel like it was trying to be a throwback like many thrillers and horror films seem to be doing nowadays. It was trying to speak to today's generation and I think it does that well. Especially its commentary on uh, people's importance of uh, views or their internet popularity. It makes a great statement about that. I mean, YouTube is a prime example here of that. So uh, that subject of internet popularity and views and people looking for possibly validation uh, in what the, the crazy stuff that they're doing, I liked that theme and that underlying theme in here. Now, there are decent performances here by Emma Roberts and Dave Franco who play V and uh, Ian in here. I also enjoyed Emily Mead's character of Sydney. She was a lot of fun to watch on screen. Uh, and Miles uh, Heiser who plays the friend Tommy who's trying to get V out of this. Enjoyed all their performances well enough. A good young cast in here. And uh, the story was fun. It kind of was like cheap thrills mixed with the net sort of. Or, uh, you know, there was a, also a name uh, which escapes me right now, a Michael Douglas movie that came out where he kind of plays this game within real life and real life event type things happened for him. I think it was the perfect game. I forgot the name of it, but in any case, uh, it did feel, you know, harken back to that a bit, but it wasn't trying to be that. It's trying to be its own thing, and I thought it did well. Now, I, I was surprised by the ending, though I will say I was a little bit disappointed by the ending, because this was an interesting, entertaining film to see them do all these things, and they were kind of breaking out of some of your tropes that you would see out of a film like this, but then near the end, it got a little bit more stereotypical, and a little bit like hackers in all honesty um, which isn't a bad thing overall nerve isn't a uh, groundbreaking phenomenal cinema but it is great to see them do a horror thriller film that is for today and not trying to be some kind of retro throwback so props to them there for this and it's based off of a novel as well which i'm interested in reading so check out nerve if it's still at your theater i think it's worth your time i give it three and a half stubs it was was entertaining, it was better than I thought it would be, and Emma Roberts and Dave Franco put on some great performance with some good on-screen chemistry. So, if you see Nerve, please leave your comments down below. Love to hear your thoughts on it. Please subscribe if you haven't already. <laughs> see, there we go. Nerve proves that point perfectly. <laughs> um, but uh, thank you so much, as always, for your support, and until next time, keep that ticket stub.